Jasmine here from Tasman's Crochet Creations and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to crochet this cute little bee keychain. Isn't it just cute? <laughs> so to make this little bee keychain here's a few supplies that we will need. Um, for this tutorial I'll be using a two millimeter crochet hook and with that I'll be using some normal DK weight yarn. So I have here in the colours yellow, black and white. For the wings you can obviously choose to do either white or blue for the wings. It's entirely up to you. So the yarn that I have is Charity Double Knit Full Skein and uh, it's 100% acrylic and this is a 100 gram ball. It recommends a 4mm crochet hook but we'll be going down to a 2mm crochet hook just to make the stitches more tighter. Okay, so we will also be needing a pair of scissors as well as a tapestry needle. You can, if you want to, use a stitch marker or you can join the rounds here. For the first few rounds of the face, I just um, I just crocheted in the round and then from there after when I did the straps, I started to just uh, just join the yarn, just sorry, join the rounds. Um, so I was working in rounds instead of working in the round. Okay, yeah, so it's optional to have a stitch marker if you want to. You'll also be needing a little keychain to put on the little bee. That's if you want to make it into a keychain, like what I have done. You'll also be needing some safety R's and the little washers that go on the back. So these are 0 0.5 millimeter. Uh, safety hours. you also be needing some pillow stuffing to stuff the bee and you'll also be needing some pliers so either some jewelry pliers or normal household pliers this will just make it easier to open and close the little um what do you call this thing the little like jump ring or this little loop here to get it onto the bee and then to close the jump ring okay so that is it for the materials let's get started on crocheting the little bee okay so to start crocheting the bee you just want to grab your yarn i don't know where my tail end is for this here it is <laughs> okay so you just want to grab some yarn and what we are going to do is we are going to form a magic ring so to do a magic ring, what I'll do is I'll wrap the yarn around my finger once, twice, and then over like that to form like an X. See that X there? And then you'll go under the first loop, pick up the second loop, and then while, while the magic ring is still on your finger, you just want to chain one just to secure it. And then you can take your magic ring off your finger. Okay, so that's the way I like to do my magic ring. So what we're going to do is we're just going to place six single crochets into the magic ring. So single crochet is just insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through those two loops to do a single crochet. Again, it's insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through those two loops to do a single crochet. So you'd want to do that six times. So that's one, two, three, four. And notice how um, I'm yarning, what's it? Yarning under instead of yarning over. So a normal single cro a normal crochet, sorry, you would insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and just pull through those two loops like that. And you'll 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 sorry, you will yarn over instead of under. But for my amigurumis, I specifically yarn under, so it forms a much more tighter stitch. So a yarn under is when you just hook the yarn and the yarn goes underneath the hook like that. A yarn over is when the yarn is over the hook like that. So that's the two different ways that you, that you do your stitches. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, and six single crochet so far okay so now what you would want to do is just pull on your tail end 
and one of the two loops will cinch closed or will start to close you just want to pull that one loop that had been pulled and then you just want to pull the loop that was was like pulled in first you just want to pull that and then the second loop will close as you can see there and then to get rid of this loop you just pull on your tail end like that and that goes closed okay so what i've decided that i'm going to do um for this bee is for the first rounds where the face is i'm just going to use my stitch marker and have continuous rounds rather than joining the rounds because then the seam will be noticeable so for this next round we will place two single crochets into each chain across so into each stitch around okay so notice how i am yarning under instead of over okay so that's one and two okay and then i'm just going to place my stitch marker in the first stitch whoopsie the first stitch and then you can continue let me just take this ball band off quickly and then you can continue to place two single crochets to each stitch all the way around and for this next round your stitch count would have gone from six up to twelve So now I am back at my stitch marker. Okay. And now for the next round, we're going to place, um, so we're just going to remove our stitch marker. And then in the first stitch, we'll place one single crochet and then an increase in the next stitch. Okay. So in the first stitch, you'll just place one single crochet. one single crochet and then you can place your stitch marker back and then do an increase in the next stitch and an increase is just two single crochets into the same stitch so that's one and two okay and then you just repeat that around placing one single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochets in the next stitch yeah, so that was one, two, one, two, and your stitch count would have gone from 12 to 18. So now that is what it should be looking like by the end of the third round. Okay, so now for the next round, we are going to place one single crochet into the next two stitches. So we're going to place one single crochet in the first two. So that's one. Place your stitch marker back. So that's one two and then an increase so that's two single crochets into the same space okay and then again it is one single crochet in the next two so that's one and two and then an increase and then a one single crochet in the next two stitches one and two and then an increase so two single crochets into the next stitch 
and then you just repeat that around and your stitch count would have gone up from 18 to 24 yeah so that's one two Yeah, so it's one, two, and then an increase. Okay. And then we should have three stitches remaining. So we will place one single crochet in the next two. And then in the last stitch, we will do our increase. So that's what it should be looking like now okay <clears throat> so for the next round round five we will just be doing one single crochet into each stitch around so we should have a total of 24 stitches by the end of this round okay so it's just one single crochet into each stitch all the way around keeping the same stitch count so we are not increasing nor are we decreasing so you can just continue that all the way around until you get back up to the stitch mark again and then we'll go into the next round okay okay so now i have made it back round to the beginning again and again your stitch count would have kept to the same stitch count of 24. so now what we're going to do is we're going to remove our stitch marker and then we're just going to slip stitch to the first stitch and what i like to do is just pull up a loop and then insert my hook into my next stitch and then pick up my loop, it's hard to my loop, and then pull that through. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my scissors and cut my yarn. And just pull that through, like that. Okay, so now that's the face part of it done, or the first section. Now we can get our black. If I can find my tail end. Here we go. Yeah, so now I'm just going to re um, remove my stitch marker because I won't be needing that anymore. Okay, so I'm just going to yarn over and pull that through, do a chain one to secure. And then I'm just going to place one single crochet into each stitch around for the next two rounds in black. Okay, so now we are creating the stripes of the bee. Okay, and again, I'm still yarning under instead of over, you see, yarning under instead of over to give my bee that nice, uh, that nice tight look with the stitches. Okay, I'm just going to drop my tail ends because I've worked over them, I've worked them in just a little bit and I don't want my bee to become too bulky. So I'm just going to continue placing one single crochet in the remaining stitches and for the next round. So I'll meet back up with you when we have two rounds of the black complete and we are ready to join the yellow again. Okay. Okay. So again, just quickly before I let you um, finish those two rounds, I'm just going to show you how I join again. So I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm at the end and then I'm going to place my hook into the first stitch and then pick up my working loop, pull that tight and then yarn over and pull that through. Okay, and then you just want to continue placing your one single crochet into each stitch around until you get back to the beginning and we will join the same. You can if you want to do a normal slip stitch 
in each um in each beginning stitch but that is entirely up to you i just feel that this way it is not as visible as a slip stitch okay so you can continue placing one single crochet to each stitch around and i'll come back when we're ready to join the yellow okay okay so now i have joined back around to the beginning again and what you want to do is just snip your yarn and pull that up and then you just want to grab your yarn you just want to grab your yellow again okay so grab your yellow And then we're just going to join in the same stitch that we joined into. And then you're just going to place your yarn on top and then do a chain one to join or to secure. And then do one single crochet to each stitch around for the next two rounds. Okay. So you just want to work your tail ends just a little bit in the beginning. You don't want to create, you don't want your bead to be too bulky in one specific area. So I just like to work my tail ends over just a few stitches. Okay. So you can continue placing one single crochet into each stitch around for the next two rounds of the yellow. Okay. Then I'll meet back up with you when we are ready to join the black again. Okay. Okay, so now I am ready to join my black. So I have already just snipped my yarn and I'm just going to pull it up like that. Okay, but before we join up black, it is now time to put our safety eyes in. I find that it's just easier to do it now than, <laughs> than later. Okay, so we're going to take our safety eyes. Right here are our safety eyes and our little plastic washers. Okay. So here are the washers and the safety eyes. So we are going to place the safety eyes between round three and four. So that's one, two, three, and four. Okay. So I kind of want the seam to be at the bottom so it's not visible. And we're going to have eight stitches between, um, between each safety eye. Okay. So if I take my B quickly, I'm just going to roughly see where I placed my safety eyes okay so it looks like I have placed my safety eyes next to the increase here on round one two three um on round three so I'm just gonna place one safety eye there I'm not going to put the washer in yet because I want to see how I like it. So I have one, two, so the two is the increase, two, three, and then the increase, so that's five, six, seven, eight. There we go. So right next to the increase, I'm going to put the next one in there. Okay. So that's what it looks like. So we have one two stitches which is the increase three four five which is the increase uh six which is just one single crochet and then the seven and eight which is the increase okay so there is what our bee looks like with little eyes so now the only thing that's left to do is just turn this inside out a little bit and then pop these little plastic washers on oopsie yeah so there we go make sure they are on nice and secure okay and if you want to to just secure these even more you can take a dab of hot glue from like a hot glue gun and just glue these in so they don't come out okay so there we go that's our little bee there he is he's so cute okay so now we are going to join in the black okay so we can get our yarn <clears throat> so we can get our yarn 
and our hook you may just insert into the first stitch where the yellow is coming out of and get the black okay and get my black yarn okay and then again we are going to place one single crochet in each stitch around for the next two rounds okay so now we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch around so I get back to the beginning again again I'm only working over just a few stitches of my tail ends okay so I'll meet back up with you when we are ready to join the yellow again and I'll meet back up with you when we are finished with the two rows of the black okay okay so now what we're going to do is we're just going to end the black off and pull that loop up after we have finished our two rows of black okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our yellow and now we're going to work on the bee hand of the bee <laughs> um we're going to work on the bee's bum <laughs> okay so we are going to join our yellow and for this round we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch around okay so you can do that you can just go and you can just meet me back at the beginning again after you've placed your one single crochet into each stitch all the way around until I get back to the beginning okay okay so now I'm back at the beginning and I'm just going to join my round okay and then I'm just going to chain one and then for this next round we're going to basically do what we did in the beginning but in reverse kind of thing <laughs> okay so we're going to place one single crochet in the first two stitches and then we'll do a decrease so that's one and two okay so now to do a decrease we will do a decrease over the next two stitches but we'll be doing the invisible decrease so we will insert under the front loop the front loop of the next stitch and the front loop of the next stitch like that okay so let me just actually get my darning needle so i can show you properly what i am doing okay so with any stitch and crochet you have this v at the top of the stitch so the one closest to you is the front loop the loop away from you is the back loop okay so there there's like a little v okay so we're going into the front loop of each of the next two stitches yeah, so again to do a decrease we will insert under the front loops of the next two stitches so that's one and two I'm going to yarn over and pull the yarn through those two loops on our hook yeah okay. so there's like a little little invisible decrease forming there and then we're going to yarn over and finish off that single crochet okay so that's what the decrease looks like there so again you're just going to place one single crochet in the next two so that's one and two and then an invisible decrease over the next two stitches so again it's insert under the first loop insert under the second loop like that and then yarn over and pull that through and yarn over and pull through those two loops to finish off your single crochet yeah, so you just repeat that all the way around placing one single crochet in the next two and then a decrease over the next two stitches I'll show you one more time okay so there's the two stitches there that we'll be going into go under the first loop or the front loop 
of the next stitch and the front loop of the following stitch like that yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through those two loops <coughs> okay so you would just repeat that all the way around placing one single crochet in the next two and then a decrease and your stitch count would have gone from 24 back down to 18. Okay. I'm nearly at the beginning, so I might as well crochet the rest of this row with you all around. Okay, so where's my decrease? So there's my decrease. So it's one, two, and then a decrease. So we're going to decrease in the next stitch and then we have two single crochets remaining just going to place one single crochet into those stitches there okay okay so you would just want to repeat this putting two single crochets into uh, putting one single crochet in the next two stitches and then a decrease over the next two stitches until you get back round to the beginning again come on here we go okay here we go okay until you get back round to the beginning and you should end on a decrease okay so i just did my now one single crochet in the first two stitches on the next two stitches and now I am just going to do my decrease into the last two stitches or over the next two stitches over the last two stitches <laughs> okay there we go and again we are just going to join the beginning of the round join to the beginning okay and then we're going to place one single crochet into the first stitch and then we're going to do a decrease over the next two okay and your stitch count would have gone back down from from 24 to 18 in the previous round and in this round that we're working on now it'll go back down from 18 to 12. Okay, so again you're just going to place one single crochet in the next stitch and then a decrease over the next two stitches and then one single crochet in the next stitch and then a decrease and then a one single crochet and then a decrease And one single crochet. Okay, and then you can just repeat this all the way around until you get back around to the beginning. And as I said, your stitch count would have gone down from 18 down to 12. Okay, so I just did my last decrease. And now I'm just going to join. Okay, I'm just going to pull up my yarn and then I am just going to stuff the bee now. So I'm going to take these tail ends from the straps and I'm just going to put that into the bee and that can be as our like little like extra stuffing as you can call it stuffing I suppose. Okay, I'm just going to pull up my loop a bit more. So I'm just going to grab some of my stuffing here and my hook. I may need more stuffing than this I'll see how it goes <laughs> okay and then you're just gonna I'm just gonna use the back end of the hook you can use maybe a blunt pair of scissors if you have any but for now I am just going to use the back of my crochet hook
and we don't want it to be too stuffed I think I'm just gonna put a little bit more in Let's just do a little squeeze comparison. Okay, you can just plump them out a little bit. Okay. There we go. This little guy looks a little bit more rounder, so maybe just a little bit more needs to be taken out. I think I'm happy with that. He does look a little bit bigger, his face. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, so to move on. We are now going to place a decrease into each stitch around. So we'll go from 18 stitches to 12. So I'm just going to chain one and then I'm going to do a decrease over the next two stitches like that. And then finish the single crochet and again decrease over the next Two stitches and you'll just repeat this all the way around placing a decrease in each stitch around as I said your de your sorry your stitch count would have gone down from 18 down to 12 <clears throat> I'm just doing my last stitch here now okay. and then again just join to the beginning okay. and it should begin to look something like this and now you should have six stitches remaining one two three four five six and what we're going to do is we're just going to take our yarn leave a little bit of a tail just snip our yarn and yarn over and pull that through. Okay. Then we're just going to take our tapestry needle, thread this onto our tapestry needle. <clears throat> and then we're just going to pick up like the front loops of each of the stitches here. So just going to weave your tail in and through the front loops of the stitches. It should be quite clear. The front loops. Okay. And then just pull on that and then you'll see the, the little hole closes up. Okay, and then what I like to do is I like to just stick it back in the center and then poke my needle out somewhere on the B and then again go insert my needle back where it came out from and come out somewhere else on the B and repeat that a few times just to secure it and hard in our tail end Once you're happy, you can pull your yarn out or your needle out and then just snip your yarn as close to the bee as possible and then just squeeze your bee and then your tail end will fall on the inside. Okay, so there's our little bee. Wee. Okay, now the only thing that's left to do is just to do the wings. Okay, so let's do the wings. 
So now moving on to the wings, we can set our little B aside and we can again grab our hook and our white yarn. And what we're going to do is again, we're going to create a magic ring. So we're going to wrap our yarn around our finger once, twice, and then cross over to form an X like that. Okay, then you're going to take your hook, you're going to insert under the first two loops and then pick up the second loop. And then again, just do a chain one just to secure that magic ring. And then pull your magic ring off your fingers. And then what you're going to want to do is we're going to want to put 10 half double crochets into the magic ring. So a half double crochet is a yarn over, insert into the magic ring yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through the three loops on your hook to do a half double crochet so that's one again it's yarn over insert pull through yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook that's two three four five okay that's five Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. If you want, again, you can slip stitch to the beginning, but we are going to join uh, the way I join. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to tug on our tail end just so that the one, the one loop pulls in. Whichever one pulls in, we're going to take that and pull that out. And then the other loop will cinch closed like that and then you just want to take your tail end pull your tail end so this other loop disappears like that okay so now again we're just going to join to the beginning so you'd want to count back 10 stitches so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and Wait, sorry, lost, lost count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. There we go, 10. Okay, so here. And then we're going to pull that loop through. Oopsie. <laughs> pull that a bit tight. Okay, and then we're going to do one chain just for leverage. And then again, we're going to place two half double crochets into each stitch across. Around, sorry. So we are going to yarn over, insert into the first stitch, and we're just going to catch our tail end. Okay, yarn over, pull through, <clears throat> yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through those three loops. That's one. We do another one in the same stitch. So it's yarn over, insert into there, yarn over, pull through yarn over and pull through those three loops that's two then in the next stitch we'll do two again one and two and we'll just repeat that all the way around placing two half double crochets into each stitch all the way around okay and your stitch count should have gone from 10 to 20 so it should have just doubled okay <clears throat> Yeah, so I'm nearly at the beginning here. Okay. So now that we're back at the beginning again, and now it's time to join. So I'm just going to lift up my loop insert into the first stitch and pull that through like that okay and then we're just going to take our scissors and we're going to leave a bit of a tail so we can sew the bee to the body 
So just about like that much of a tail. And then we're just going to yarn over and pull that through. And what I like to do with this tail end is even though it's curling a little bit, I still like to just take the tail end and lightly just pull it in a bit so that it cinches up the wing a bit like that. I'm just going to compare it to the wing that I've done already. So there we go. Okay. So once you're happy, you can just snip your tail end. Okay. And then there you go. That's your one wing done. And then you can repeat that to make the second wing. And then I'll show you how to join your two wings uh, to the body. Okay. Okay. So now to join the wings onto the body, what we are going to do is we're just going to position it into like the center of the bee. So like over there and over there. Yeah, come on. <laughs> okay, so over there and over there like that. See? Cute. Okay, so we're just going to take one. Okay. We're going to thread our darning needle and then get our little bee and then kind of look like roughly where, where the middle of the R's are. So it's like about here, around this middle stitch here. Yeah, so I'm going to place my needle in through this one stitch and out through the other side like that. And then I'm going to go back into the B, I mean, sorry, into the wing. So it's like that. And then I'm just going to go in where I came out from on the B. So there, and then out on the black side or on the black strap of the wing. Yeah, like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to go back up into the wing and do the next stitch. Okay. And then I'm just going to sew into a few of the stitches on the wing. And then I'm just going to come out through the next stitch on the wing. Okay. And then I'm going to come back into this one stitch here that's coming out from the yellow here insert there and then come out on the black strap of the bee okay you can just obviously just play around with the wing see um whether if you're happy with it so i think what i'm going to do let me just see my other bee Yeah, so I actually sewed like the one stitch down. Okay, so I'm just going to sew back up into the wing. Okay, like that. And then I'm just going to sew across under those stitches. A little bit fiddly under those stitches like that. And then I'm just going to Go back into this one stitch on the wing here. And then just insert my needle in through this black strap here. Okay, so you can just, as I say, just play around with the wings. See how you're happy with it. You can get your other wing and pair it up. Okay, so I actually kind of like the way this looks. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert my needle back where it came out from, but poke my needle out somewhere on the B, like that. Okay. And then again, just insert my needle where I came out from and come out somewhere else on the B. Okay, and you just repeat this all the way around. Well, not all the way around, you just repeat this a few times until your tail end is sewn in enough. Yeah, so I just like to do this a, a handful of times just to ensure nothing will come undone. Ok, 
Okay, well, it, since my needle came out, I'm just gonna snip my yarn and I'm happy with that. Okay, so there is the one wing. And now it's time to stick the other wig on. Oopsie, <laughs> not the bee. Okay, <laughs> so now we are just gonna repeat the same process for this next wing. I don't think I left long enough tail, but we'll see. Okay, <laughs> so where this wing is attached to here on the yellow stripe, we're just gonna insert there, come out on the other side, like that, and then I'm just gonna come into the wing so the next stitch of the wing and then just pull that through like that and then again I'm just going to go eh, let's see what I did here okay and then I'm just going to go into the next stitch like that and then then insert my needle from the yellow stripe into the black stripe like that yeah. and then I'm just gonna poke my needle back into the wing like that and then I'm just gonna sew under a few stitches like this just to get to this other side like that and then again I am just going to sew this other wing or this other side of the wing down to the B so again I'm gonna poke my needle in where the yellow stripe is or where this wing where this other wing is attached to and then poke my needle out in the black stripe here like that yeah i think i'm just going to go back into this wing over here and then maybe come back into the the bee where it came out of Actually, no, I don't like the way you've done that. Okay, so I'm just going to do that again. Okay, so I'm just going to come out like that. I'm just going to insert back into another space of the wing and into the, the, the space on the bee that I want to go into there. And then pull my needle out somewhere else on the bee. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that. Oopsie, <laughs> dropping my bee all over. Okay, so there you go, there is the wings of the bee. So now I'm just going to finish sewing in my tail end. So I'm just going to go back in where it came from and then out somewhere else in the bee and then again in where it came out of and somewhere else out on the bee. Like that, and then again, insert where I came out of, and then poke your needle out somewhere else. Okay, you can just do this a couple of times. So, there we go. And there we go. That is our little busy bee done and complete with those cute little wings. So, there we go. And there is his little best friend. And now the only thing that's left to do is to put on the little keychain accessory. If you... Um, you can, if you want to, leave the bee like this. You can give it to a friend um, or a loved one as like a little gift or, I don't know, be creative, I suppose. <laughs> um, but yeah, but we are going to turn it into uh, a keychain. So what we are going to do is we are going to take our little keychain here and your pliers. So I'm just going to grab the one side of it, like this, and then I'm just going to open the, the, 
the jump ring up. This can be a bit fiddly. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to place it in the middle here, just in between the two wings. So I'm just going to poke it in through there, like that, and then take the pliers and just squeeze it back. Okay. Okay, there we go. And then there is our little bee. Okay, there he is. He just needs to get a little bit of a reshaping. He looks a bit fat, this bee. <laughs> this bee really looks more fat. I don't know if I overstuffed him or what. <laughs> but I know before I had closed the bee at the back, he definitely looked a whole lot thinner than this bee. Oh well, they can be friends. <laughs> yeah, so that's it for today's tutorial on how to crochet these cute little bees. Yeah, so yeah, so that's it guys. So thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of your crocheting. Um, I'd love to see your creations and what you guys come up with. So yeah, you can share your stuff on, on my Instagram or my Facebook page. And, um, yeah, it's the same name, Tasman's Crochet Creations. You can find me, as I said, on Instagram and on Facebook. So, yeah, that's it for today's tutorial. And uh, thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of your crocheting. Bye.